Hey, welcome back. Race Grays here with another diecast review. This one here is going to be Casey Kane's 2017 Brickyard 400 race win, Arc and Elite. Um, I also have the Color Chrome and the Liquid, but those will be in a separate review uh, comparing the finishes. So, we're going to start here with... Um, Oh, I suppose we'll just start with what, the, what it comes with. So, in the ARC version, you'll get uh, this here winner sticker. A little green uh, Monster Energy winner sticker. And you'll get the winner card, which is right there. Start position 19th. Uh, he led 12 laps at the very end of the race. Uh, got a lucky caution to get out front and had a crazy race. He and Kislowski Johnson going three wide into three. And uh, Johnson goes spinning. I thought that was the end of the race. I thought they were in the overtime by then. And so then they had a couple of restarts. Um, and, uh, just melee, just absolutely nuts, and then the race was basically going to end because of darkness, so I think NASCAR waited to throw the yellow, because they were either going to have to finish under yellow as they did, or they were going to have to, uh, call it because of darkness, because it was getting pretty dark, um, but a long, long, ridiculous race, it was, um, three hours and 39 minutes, but I believe the overall broadcast time for this entire race was like six and a half to seven hours, it was nuts. So, anyway, let's start here. Uh, well, we'll just go with the box. So I don't have the Kane Arc box out here. Um, I don't even remember the production number. Not that important. One 125 for the Elite, and that's the Elite box. And um, the Race Win box is the exact same. I mean, it's the standard Race Win box. You know, it's got the logo. It's going to have the render of the car. And then it's going to have um, all the other extras on it, you know, with the schedule and uh, production number, all that stuff. So nothing super, you know, crazy or, you know, ludicrous that you'll have to you know that you're missing out on so we'll start here with uh we'll just do a review of the uh of the arc and then uh, we'll go to the elite because they, they're the same as, as far as body then we'll go to the detail differences so i think the arc actually has better paint or, or not better paint but a better color paint so it's a darker black i think the black actually sits out a little bit better than it does on the other one um and uh i think that's just something that'll help if I can get this autofocus to work for me. It's been kind of a pain on me this last little bit. I don't know if I lost some settings or what. Um, down the left side here, got a little marking up here. Down the rest of the left side, pretty clean until you get to the left rear where Johnson hit him while he was spinning. So we've got all the Goodyear rubbed off, a little mark there. And we got a little donut mark down back here on the, on the corner panel with a little mark. That's also where Johnson got into him at. You can see actually Goodyear lettering kind of rubbed off there, a little bit of yellow. Uh, here we got the uh, the rear. We got the camera the, on the deck lid here. Farmers Racing uh, Chevy SS rear end. Great clips. DIN 517. Uh, pretty clear rear end. And generally, Indy winds are extremely clean, but this one luckily isn't. Thank goodness. Um, right side here's where he got into Kozlowski a couple times. We got the donut here on the corner panel. Goodyear lettering kind of rubbed up. Down the rest here, we got some you know goofed up donut here. Some dirt on the side, and then this very very pixelated mark. Uh, yeah, um, if they're going to make a mark, you might want to put a full-blown mark in, because that's that's pretty pixelated. Doesn't look all that good. But, again, Kane won the race. I got all of them. I, I don't care. <laughs> um, right front rubbed up from when he rubbed against Kozlowski and the fender, too. On the front here, we got the Farmer's Insurance front end. Uh, dirt all over it, because he ran back in the pack most of the day. We got a little bit of stuff here on the, uh, on the hood pins. And then um, we got the Farmer's Insurance there. No uh, monster banner, as it is a Hendrick car, and then Kane on the back windshield. Roof flaps do open, and then we'll get to the detail. So in the detail, there is the trunk of the Arc, and let's get to the trunk of the Elite. And you'll see them side by side that the black is... Oh, I don't want to touch them. That's yeah, chip paint. Definitely don't want to do that. All right, so there's the Elite, and there's the Arc. The fuel cells are actually exactly the same, and it's all tethers and brace. So... If you're looking at, like, this year's Elite, the 2018's, Arc and Elite, or Arc from last year versus Elite, back ends are the same. Front ends are a little different. Um, so that's the rear end, and you get in the back windshield, eh, pretty much the same. Not, not, a, not enough of a difference to, to make a fit about it or anything. Um, so now we go over here to the driver's side. And on the driver's side, on this one here, we got the mirror. We have inside the details, all the cab details. We've got the steering wheel with the, uh, with the uh, radio wire. We also have a black mirror, and, or not a black mirror. You have a black mirror in the other one, too. But you have a black post um, here and on the side, and back there. You see that up and down post? Those are both black in the Elite. 
And you can tell that more from when you look through the right side window. You got two crossbars black there and two of them are white there. So black crossbars in there that are white in there. So that's your cab differences. And then you got gauge detail and stuff like that, which because I can't get the window net down, I can't show you as easily. Um, but you can kind of see it actually from the front windshield. So we'll go from the front here quick and we'll do motor detail as well. Um, look in there on the left one here, Elite, we've got the digital dash, where it's rounded up. And over here, we've got the standard dash. Now, I think this has been going on for a while. I don't know when it stops because the arc for Chevy had the, the wrong dash most of the year. I don't know if it ever got fixed. I don't know. We'll see when uh, uh, it'd be Dale Jr.'s race win. I think it's my next Chevy coming in. Um, nope, Kyle Larson's. I got a couple of those coming. But anyway, we'll see when those come in, if they have the correct uh, dash in there or not. Um, but until we do that, you can tell. But yeah, you see the color difference there. This one's a little bit more of a brighter, more faded looking black, where this is a much more pure black. Um, and it just looks a lot better that way. So um, those are just little differences that I kind of see in the, the Arc versus Elite color wise. Um, this one obviously has the antennas on the roof. Um, and this one does, the other one does not. Uh, now we're going to pop the hoods, um, which is always a little bit of a tricky thing to do because I don't like to use my fingernails because I feel like you're going to scratch it if you're too too rough on it. And the Elite hoods at the end of 2017 got absolutely perfect. I love them. I love the Elite hoods by the end of 2017. They did a good job finally getting them to open. They always used to open like two inches. They didn't go anywhere. Now you actually open further or just as far as the as the arc and that that's awesome so 2017 elites are going to be something i start really piling up on because i love them um because i just love the fact that the detail is coming back and everything so um but anyway under the hood so minor detail differences that's our black plastic engine with some painted on hoses and wires uh nothing separated really there's a couple little things but then here we have individual plug wires we've got a the the liquid cool hose that goes through for the radiator uh, belts there. Uh, still not a ton of stuff. Tethers and braces, though, look a lot better when they're tucked back where they should be versus just kind of dangling in there. So really, really cool. I like the, the new uh, mounts for the hoods out that they did on these. Um, so, I, again, very, very happy with the Elite. Color, I wish it was that darker color. You know, Maybe that's just something I do when I put them in a display box versus out in a case. It might help paint a little bit. I've noticed that the cars that I do put in a case stay glossy a lot longer, so the sealing them off sometimes helps um and then the only other thing left is roof flaps where this one will open standard roof flaps nothing else to see underneath uh this one however let's see here if i can get that roof wrap flap popped open they're a little tricky because they like to stay down they really don't like to come up because of the the tethers that they've got underneath um yeah it's being a little bit of a pain to me right now. I'm going to pop the antennas out so I can tip her upside down and try to get one of these to shake loose a little bit. Kind of kind of just flick them a little bit if I have to, just gently uh, try and knock them a little loose so they'll go upside down. But yeah, these are these suckers are tight. Um, I can't get it out. I'll have to show you from, uh, from the liquid color. Um, I've got it sitting on the desk here so it's not like it's uh, super, super far away. Um, I'll pull the liquid color one. I know that one, or li Color Chrome's got it, actually. Color Chrome has the uh, a roof lap that kind of doesn't sit down right, which is an issue with most of the 2017 elites. But so there's a Color Chrome. Uh, there's that roof lap I was talking about. And when you prop it open, you can see we got tether. Well, you can't see we got tethers. We do have tethers, I promise you. Um, now that's as far as it goes, or wants to. There, we got to kind of stretch her out. There, we're getting there. Um, but you can see here we got tethers and then we have this little cloth right there and that's something they added this is this is not this is new for this year and it goes away next year so unfortunately but it's a cool detail because they they have that on the real cars but you, we've never seen them it's the first time we've ever seen that detail on the roof lap so um, again props a lot I know they, they knocked it uh, they knocked the elites out of the park at the end of 2017 they were really rolling and uh, they went in and changed a whole bunch of stuff for 2018 and I'm I got a 2018, and I think you'll see the review when I get it posted here soon. Uh, it'll post probably before these, but um, it's it's disappointing at best because the detail potential is there. Uh, they use the 
they used the, this Elite chassis. So they had the plug wires and all that available, but they didn't put the wires in. So there's just holes where the, all those hoses and wires could go. So a little bit of a bummer there. But, you know, still neat, I guess. But anyway, that's the comparison between the two. Um, they're really neat die casts. Definitely pick up the Arc if you don't, if that's, you know, if you can't find the Elites, which they might be tougher to find. They're, they're going to be out there for a little bit yet. But definitely the Arc. I mean, they, they knocked it out of the park. They did a good job. The, the car looks great. Um, got a piece of styrofoam on there. Um, car looks great. They did a, they knocked it out graphics wise. They, they made it look good. Paint was even better on the Arc than I than on the Elite in my opinion. Um, I think the Elite had a more faded look to it, but I mean the car just spot on. So, uh, definitely recommend picking one of these up if you can find them because they're, they're really cool. I hope I can get one of these here signed when I go to Kansas this weekend. But, uh, anyway, this has been Race Craze. Leave a like on the video, comment, uh, subscribe to the channel. Got more videos coming and, uh, we'll see you in the next video.